I always recommend pay yourself first. Improving one's finances ranks as one of the top New Year's resolutions. And just like with fitness, getting started is often the hardest part. One size does not fit all. Everybody's different. The team at Raymond James Riverdale has been serving the North Metro community for around two decades. They specialize in investment management, retirement planning, and budgeting. Consultations are free. If they decide to work with us, you know, then we have goal planning and monitoring software that we use to, you know, make sure we're, we're keeping track of the original plan, that they're staying on target, that their allocations are suitable for their risk tolerance levels, their lifestyle, um, all those types of things. Uh, the best time was 10 years ago, and then the next best time is today. Mike Kaiser is also a branch manager and investment advisor at Raymond James Riverdale, which has nearly $300 million in assets under management. He enjoys working face-to-face -face with clients. It's all about habits. We teach a lot of uh, keep, get yourself out of debt um, and Roth IRAs at a young age. If you can fully fund your Roth IRA, that's the first thing you should do, besides your 401k if there's a match. Danielle Anderson, a registered investment professional, likes helping younger people get their financial house in order. She says allowing time for growth is key. I think a lot of people think like, oh, I have to put a ton of money away every month to do something. In reality, you don't. I always tell people like, even if it's $50 a month into like a Roth, just it's better than doing nothing. Absentee voting is underway for the presidential nominating primary. Absentee balloting for the major political parties' presidential nominees opened up on January 19th inside the Coon Rapids Civic Center and continues through March 4th at 5 o'clock p.m. The presidential primary election day is on March 5th. If you want to vote before then, step one is to fill out a Minnesota absentee ballot application. When you come in, and you want to vote, you'll be asked to declare on your uh, ballot application which party's ballot you would like to receive. From there, you may vote for a nominee listed on that party's ballot. Minnesota's presidential primary will be held on Tuesday, March 5th. Absentee voting is now open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and then on Saturday, March 2nd from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. We do have uh, absentee balloting um, with direct balloting, which means you can place your ballot right in the machine, and that starts on February 16th and goes through the day before Election Day. So it'll go through March 4 at 5 p.m. The city of Coon Rapids needs election judges 18 and older to work on the presidential primary election day at any one of the city's 22 polling locations takes a lot of us to make this work and we are short maybe about 15 or so folks so if you've worked for us before and you'd like us to reactivate you please let us know that if you have questions you can call the elections hotline at 763-767-4688 the presidential nomination primary is open to any registered minnesota voter who is 18 or older on march 5th With afternoon temperatures in the upper 40s on a late January day, golfers descended on Bunker Hill's golf course. The driving range opened a few days ago and the executive course followed. The championship course is set to open on Wednesday, January 31st. In the 25, almost 25 years that I've worked here, I've never seen this type of activity in January, February. We opened up our tee sheet for Wednesday through Monday, which would be the 31st through the 5th and we are almost completely full for those days. The courses and driving range will remain open as long as this mild winter weather continues. Since the course is built on sand, the conditions are quite dry and good for both golfers and golf carts. For the golfers looking to come out, opportunity abounds at Bunker Hills.
Well, as part of our celebration of 60 years of snowflake days, we've uh, decided that we would have an ice bar. Pretty small. That, that's a good amount. Let's push it down a little. The centerpiece for the 2024 Coon Rapids Snowflake Day celebration started cold as ice. But with each passing day above freezing, it's anyone's guess how long Mother Nature will allow it to stay standing. Last week we were deciding how much heat we needed out here uh, so that people could be out here enjoying it. And now we're in a situation where we're afraid it might get a little too warm. The ice bar is located at the Chanticleer Pizza Grill in Coon Rapids and is just one of the many locations hosting Snowflake Days activities. There's a big list of events this year and a lot of great activities, something for all ages. So uh, we really encourage you to take a look at that. The Coon Rapids Snowflake Day celebration runs from January 27th through February 11th. For complete details, log on to CoonRapidsSnowflakeDays.com. Changes are taking shape inside the Church of the Epiphany. It started last year and represents the first major renovation of the sanctuary in 40 years. Maybe you've heard of Constantine's arch, an arch symbol, symbolic of victory, a triple arch. This is the symbolic victory of Jesus Christ. It's his triumphal arch. We have the saints followed by the angels above them and then God the Father on top. When it came down to adorning the arch with color, it was no surprise Father Duffner turned to homegrown talent and nationally renowned artist Mark Sanislow. So this is the underpainting and of course we colored the, the background pretty recently here. Sanislow has worked and reworked the design for the arch since last summer. He's painting oil on canvas in a makeshift studio next to the church. Scale-wise, it's actually probably a little bit smaller than some of the other church projects that I've done. Uh, but it's, it's definitely more detailed. Due to the scope of the project, Sanislow brought in a team of artists, including Archie Page, to help move things along. So Archie's been doing a lot of the um, painting right alongside me, and we've been sort of developing you know, a lot of the art together. Artist Andrea Goldberg is working on the symbols which represent the 12 apostles. The artwork that Andrea is working on right now will be some of the more color, more detailed design to go inside some of those embellishments. In the coming months, there will be two more murals added on either side of the main arch. So we've got the wedding at Cana and the baptism in the Jordan. So far, Sanislo and his team have spent over 1,500 hours on the project. The Saints will take on even more color in the studio before they're moved into the sanctuary. So I would say two to three weeks, scaffolding goes in, we wallpaper this up, and then I figure we have another two, three months of painting on the actual wall. Here's a quick recap of the Tuesday, January 16th City Council meeting. The council appointed two new members to the Sustainability Commission. Lynn Riley and Josh Zeller's appointments fill vacancies with terms ending December 31st, 2025. The council introduced an ordinance rezoning the old Edina Realty Building near Target from office to general commercial. The Red Cross is interested in opening a blood and plasma collection facility in a portion of the building off Northdale Boulevard, but that use is not permitted in office zoning. The annual Snowflake Day celebration is marking 60 years this month. On Tuesday night, Mayor Jerry Cook proclaimed January 27th through February 11th as Snowflake Days in the city of Coon Rapids. More than a dozen events are planned. You can find details by logging on to CoonRapidsSnowflakeDays.com. We're super excited to be here. Stumpy's Hatchet House, Coon Rapids, opened its doors Thursday night to friends and family. Each person must go through a brief training session. Throwing coaches will instruct you on safe throwing techniques. Owners Todd and Abby Haven of Anoka are excited to have their entertainment venue in Riverdale. Stumpy here offers uh, primarily axe throwing. We have 13 total pits. We have a whole private back room for uh, corporate events and things of that nature. 
Um, we also have three ping pong tables um, that you can rent out. We do have a lot of um, uh, yard games and party games and stuff like that. Stumpy's serves wine, beer, and seltzer, along with a food menu. Although you are allowed to bring in your own food, playtime runs for one or two hours. You must be 15 years or older and accompanied by an adult. Stumpy's is located at 12760 Riverdale Boulevard and open to the public. For full details and more information, check them out on the web at stumpyshh.com forward slash Coon Rapids MN. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Big changes for the Inokanapan School Board in the new year. On Monday night, three new board members took the oath of office. Linda Hochman, Zach Arco, and Michelle Langenfeld then took their seats and got to work for the organizational meeting. But the six-member board didn't get far electing leadership for 2024, including a board chair. Each nomination for board chair failed on a split vote. Um, and I will not accept that this is a divided board. This is our first meeting, folks, right? And although this is a little messy and, yeah, you could say we're divided on board chair, that is uh, certainly true and evident. Um, I, I don't see that we're a three by three divided board. I, I won't accept that. I think we can collaborate. I know we can collaborate. The school board will continue to attempt votes on a chair and other officer positions at each subsequent public board meeting this year. Until then, returning school board members Jeff Simon and Matt Odette will equally share responsibility to advise the preparation of all school board meeting agendas. An impromptu graduation ceremony on Tuesday morning brought cheers from Paladin students who lined the halls for graduating senior Trey Moore. This was his moment in front of the Paladin Wall of Fame. We try to individualize uh, every graduation and every student feel that they get their moment of fame. Paladin Career and Technical High School is a public charter school which moved into Coon Rapids two years ago under the direction of school principal Brandon Waite. A number of our kids go on to four-year universities, but maybe even a higher number go on to trade or community schools. Paladin's model of education puts relationships first, where students feel connected. The great thing about Paladin is that it gives us a lot of freedom to learn the way we want to learn and earn our credit the way that we want to learn it. And with that freedom comes great responsibility for each student to work on something meaningful. We're just giving him a little med check. This is the ninth year Paladin has run the animal sanctuary. One of our sanctuary mottos has been who rescues who. Paladin offers a number of internships students can take for those who are interested. We have students who are doing welding and auto tech and construction. They just love it. It gets them out of the building. Paladin student Solomon O'Connor got an internship with the landscape company Tree Trust and builds homes for Habitat for Humanity. Tree Trust has been a lot of fun and they definitely are helping me open up doors for my future outside of Paladin. For those who want an alternate experience to a regular high school, Paladin challenges its students to join fellow alumni up on the Wall of Fame. We celebrate success and success builds on success. Properties are required to have garbage and recycling service with a licensed hauler. On Collection Day, place your carts two feet behind the curb. Collection containers should not be placed in the street. And don't forget, containers are not allowed at the curb on non-collection days. For more information on this and other city codes, log on to coonrabbitsmn.gov. <laughs> 